Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And don't freak out, your audio is not messed up on your computer. I just did an unboxing, a quick unboxing on Lenovo's ThinkPad P52 Workstation Laptop. So what's inside the box? Uh, we have our safety and warranty guide. Uh, we have our setup guide for the P52. Put this to the side. We have our power brick. Now the power brick is 170 watts. Pretty strong. And we have our power cable. I'm going to plug that guy in. And that's it. Awesome. I'm going to put this guy to the side. Then we have the beautiful ThinkPad P52 workstation laptop right here. How awesome is that? It is a very solid laptop weighing around 5.4 pounds. Uh, if you want to measure it, if I get the measure right here, the width of the P52 is around 14.86 inches and the depth of it is about 9.93 inches, which is a pretty solid machine. It is pretty heavy. Again, uh, weighing around 5.4 pounds is one of those machines that I don't consider traveling a lot. You just place it on your desktop, plug it in, and you're good to go. One of the cool things I love about this laptop that I hardly see on a lot of laptops nowadays is that it has a removable battery. That's a huge plus because that means that I could purchase an additional battery. And when this dies, I could just plug in another one and continue going. We will go over the battery life on the ThinkPad P52, so don't worry. All right, so let's open this guy up, power it on, and take a closer look on some of the specifications, the keyboard, the mouse, and the display. All right, so let's open up the Lenovo ThinkPad P52. Let's take our sweet time opening up this guy up. Beautiful. Now, now the display size on the P52 is 15.6 inch. Uh, I was... Lucky enough to actually get the Ultra HD version, which is a uh, 4K with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. You are able to get the P52 with uh, a full HD, 1920 by 1080 resolution. But uh, the 4K actually works well with this machine. So if you have that extra money, go for the 4K model. Uh, Lenovo is advertising 400 nits on the display. It is IPS multi-touch. Don't really like to use the touch screen a lot, but it's there. I did find myself using it occasionally, but not all the time. Behind the scenes, the display is being run by an NVIDIA Quadro P3200 6 gigs graphics card, which is really good when gaming or when you're rendering stuff with 3D Max or Maya. Now, Lenovo does advertise that the display is 100% Adobe Color Gamut. When I did my testing within Photoshop, it's not 100%. It didn't look 100%. So it looks like I might have to do a little bit of configuration on the display and create a color profile for it to be 100%. All right, so let's talk about the keyboard on the P52. Now it is a full keyboard layout, which basically means it provides you a keypad on your right hand side. On the upper right corner, you have your power button. And also at the very top of the keyboard, you have your speaker system. One of the cool things I like about the P52 that right here on the display, uh, it actually gives you a Wi-Fi indicator and also a hard drive indicator. The keyboard is backlit for those individuals that like to work in the dark. Uh, one of the things I do not like about this keyboard layout is that the control key and the function key is in the wrong you know, spot. On the keyboard, uh, they do provide you a fingerprint scanner, which is an additional thing to log into your machine and the trackpad you want to know the measurements of the trackpad it is 10 inches by 6 inches which is a nice size uh, i didn't have any issues using the trackpad at all i didn't even have issues using the keyboard itself uh, if you want to know the measurements between each key if you take a nickel and a dime that is your distance when i was using the keyboard it just felt super nice i never have a lot of problems Actually, I never have problems with the ThinkPad keyboards because it's just it just works. Okay, so let's stop talking about the keyboard and the display and let's turn this guy on. Like I said, the power button is located at the upper right corner of the display. Let's power this guy on and let's look at the specifications on this particular review unit that Lenovo sent me. Okay, so I'm logged into the desktop. Let's right click on the taskbar. Let's go to Task Manager. I'm going to open this guy up real quick. And let's go to performance and within performance, I'm going to right click on the CPU and let's go to view. Actually, let's go chain graph to logical processors. So this particular machine, the P52 is specced out with an Intel Core i7 8550H CPU with a clock speed of 2.60 gigahertz. It is a monster. One socket, six cores, 12 logical processors. 
the, I think the max speed is around 4.90. For memory, it looks like it has 16 gigs, but I definitely know that this machine could go higher to maybe up to 32 or 64 gigs. We're gonna go over some of the, the actual specifications on how you get this machine spec'd out. For hard drive space, you have a C drive, which is a solid state drive. This one is actually 512. And your D drive, which is a SATA, this is your raw storage, which is about a terabyte. And for your graphics card, you got the NVIDIA Quadro P3200 with Max-Q design with six gigs. Now this graphics card is great when you're playing video games and when you're rendering, especially with Premiere, Illustrator, and Photoshop. It just works well. Now with these specifications, I had a lot of fun playing with League of Legends, but also this is the type of machine that I would purchase personally, if I need to build a virtual lab on the go. I like to use VMware Workstation or VirtualBox to like create my, you know, my lab environment when I'm testing out or doing Windows or Linux stuff for you guys and pushing it out to YouTube. And when I was actually uh, testing this stuff out, I was, I was capable to run VirtualBox. Uh, I was able to render 4K and also play 4K videos without creating proxies. And it just works really, really well. Uh, this machine is capable of handling a lot. Like right now, I have a Linux box. I was testing out a Linux machine. Let me see if I'm able to log into this machine real quick with you guys. And uh, it's just, I mean, it's wonderful. Like if you go to Task Manager right now and you look at the performance, look at the performance. It's not even being hit hard. It's only 27%, 26% of the CPU. The memory is only about 6 gigs of usage. And the graphics card is only 22, 18%. And it's running super smooth. I was capable of running this, Google Chrome, Adobe Premiere, all at the same time. And it just, it's a great, great machine. All right, so we just spoke about the performance on the P52. I mean, great performance. It's overall, it's a great machine. I would definitely purchase it for myself. But one of the things that I do not like about it uh, is the battery life. Now, don't get me wrong. I Like I said earlier, you are able to just Place this guy on the desktop and just plug it in and forget it. That's the whole purpose on this workstation laptop. It's not really a traveling laptop, meaning that you charge it for 100% and you would get eight hours straight without charging it. That's not the case on the P52. I ran PC Mark 10. I ran four tests. The first test was basically modern Office uh, applications like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, blah, blah, blah. And it was constantly running until the battery dies out. Now, it lasts around three hours and 42 minutes. On the second test, uh, I ran basically video, three hours and 34 minutes. On the third test, gaming, an hour and 35 minutes. And I could basically speak with experience because I was playing like League of Legends without uh, this machine plugged in. And the performance on the frames per second went extremely down. Uh, you definitely have to have this guy plugged in if you want to take advantage of that Quadro uh, graphics card when you're gaming because you would definitely get up to 200 frames per second. If you don't have this guy plugged in, when it reaches up to 28%, you will see a huge decrease. So yeah, an hour and 35 minutes is definitely what I got around there. And then but last but not least, I got the idle. Uh, it's not really doing anything. It's just running in the background, three hours and 45 minutes. When I was using this machine at home, regular usage, I got around three hours. If you tweak the settings like the display, you lower the resolution, uh, the display, the lightness, the brightness and all that, and you make sure nothing behind the scenes is running like Windows updates, uh, iTunes or Dropbox. If you don't have all those services running in the background taking juice, you could probably get four hours on this machine. Now, one of the cool things about the ThinkPad P52 is the ports. It has a lot of ports and I love that. I love having multiple ports. On, uh, on your right hand side, if you're facing the laptop straight on when it's open, on your right hand side, you actually have a display port. You have two 3.1 USB ports and you have your combo audio jack, which allows you to hook up a headphone or a headphone with a mic. 
On your left hand side, you have an additional 3.1 USB, which is always on charging. And right next to that, you have an SD card reader. At the very back of the P52, you have your RJ45 port, your HDMI, you have two Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, and you also have your power port. Continuing on ports and features, the ThinkPad P52 has a lot of security features. It contains a fingerprint scanner, which allows you to log into the machine. It also has an IR camera, which is optional. You are able to configure it with a uh, kind of think shutter. But for this particular model, I actually had the chance to test out Windows Hello to use your face to log into the machine, which is an additional thing to log in. For those system admins that are constantly managing consultants out of their office, and they do purchase this machine, you are able to configure it with TPM, which is 2.0, which is awesome. But the ThinkPad P52 is jam-packed to lock it down and keep it secure uh, when you're off your network. Okay, so the ThinkPad P52 from Lenovo is a solid, sturdy laptop, okay? I don't recommend this laptop to be placed on your lap because it does get really warm, especially if you're rendering or if you're using like heavy programs like 3D Max or you're doing like rendering out 4K videos, it gets extremely hot around this area as well as the display and at the bottom. So it's a no-no using this on your lap. If you're wondering about the price on the P52, the price is pretty reasonable. Let's go inside the Lenovo site. Starting price is around $1189, close to $1200. Uh, Lenovo does have a back to school kind of sale, so take advantage of it. For tech specs, you are able to actually get it customized with an Intel Xeon E2176M processor. Wow, that's nuts. Uh, primary operating system, Windows 10. Like I said before, you can get two types of display, but depending on which one you get, it's going to cost a little bit more money. The one that I've been reviewing for you guys is actually the 15.6 Ultra HD version. The graphics card up to an NVIDIA Quadro P3200 with 6 gigs. Uh, it's optional to get the IR camera, but it's really up to you. If you don't want to get the IR camera, just go with the 720 HD with the dual array microphones and the Think Shutter. For memory, you can actually get up to 128 gigs of memory, or you could get for the Xeon processor, it only caps up to 64 gigs. So just definitely go for the Intel and max it out if you got that money to get all the memory that you can get. For storage, up to one terabyte, 7200 RPM, that is your raw storage. And you can actually bump it up to two terabytes, but your RPMs go a little lower. And for your primary hard drive would be a solid state drive and you can get up to two terabytes. Lenovo does advertise 10 hours of battery life for me. Uh, I got almost three to four hours. Let's click on view current models. Again, starting price is only $1,189, which is around $1,200. But the most expensive one that you can get is actually $1,689, which is around $1,700. Now comparing the low end and the high end, uh, the high end, you're going to get the Xeon processor, but again, with the Xeon processor, you're capped with only 64 gigs of memory. With the Intel processor, you can go up to 128, which is a huge plus. Uh, both of these models are going to go with the full HD. So when you kind of customize it online and you do the Ultra HD, a little bit more money. You're only going to get 8 gigs of memory. Kind of sucks for the Xeon processor, you're only going to get the Quadro P2000. And for the low end, you're only going to get the NVIDIA Quadro P1000. For the hard drive space, it looks like for the high end, you're only going to get 500 gigs with the, it looks like one terabyte, 7200 RPMs. And for the low end, only a one terabyte hard drive. That's kind of sucks. It looks like you're only going to get SATA for the low end. Solid state drive, you might have to spend a little bit more money. Overall, I think the ThinkPad P52 is a great little machine. I think the last machine that I did on the P lineup was the P72. Between both of them, which one would I go to? I would go with the P52, and the reason why is that removable battery. I love that removable battery. It allows me to actually purchase another battery, and I could basically swap out uh, if I want to travel with it, and I don't have my battery pack with me to plug it in and I have an extra battery, I could just remove it, slap it in and I'm good to go. On the P7200, did not have that option. You actually have to have uh, the power brick with you and an outlet to power it up. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review on the ThinkPad P52 from Lenovo. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.